Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something to this red car that I've been wanting to do for such a long time and after years of looking I have finally found the parts to do what I want. As you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be messing with side scoops on this car today. Well, let me go get them. And here they are. These side scoops I just got repainted. When I found them, they were blue. I just got them resprayed and I got them back two days ago now. And these things are awesome and I cannot wait to get these onto the car. If you guys know anything about Fiero side scoops, you know that they are extremely hard to find because they do not make these anymore. Um, there's a couple people out there who have molds and are actually looking into putting these into production again. But as of right now, in 2022, there is no one that's actually producing these anymore. So they are extremely hard to find, and if you do find them, you're gonna be paying a pretty good penny to actually be able to obtain some of these. I found these on Marketplace. There was a guy partying on a car, and I just shot him an offer, and he actually accepted it. So I got these for a very good deal, and I am super excited to finally have these. I've been looking for years. Before I even had this car, I've been, I've been looking for the side scoops for one of my old cars, so. I am very happy to finally get these. I had them resprayed by a person who resprayed the whole front of my car after it got in an accident, and the paint just looks fantastic. I really cannot wait to get these on the car. Well, you're only seeing one of the scoops now because the other one is actually on the car already, but I'm not gonna show you that until we get this side on. One of the reasons why I got these so cheap is because one of them was actually broken. Um, this one, the whole bottom piece actually broke off, which isn't a big deal. I fiberglassed the back of it back together, so now it is back on and it's not breaking at all. So that was really the only thing that was wrong with them. Other than that, they are basically perfect. And after the paint job, they look just insane. So we are gonna start pulling this thing forward and we're gonna start tearing it apart. And I'm gonna show you guys how to actually install these onto the Fiero. Oh no, the battery's dead. Well, the battery's completely dead. So now I have it on the charger. So while the battery is charging, why don't I tell you guys how to actually take apart the car so we can install the side scoops. So basically what we're gonna do is first, we have to take off my side skirt that I put on. I'm gonna take that off, and then I'm gonna take the actual uh, silver side skirt off as well. You need to take that off because there is a rivet that is down here just about that actually holds on this whole piece right here. And then after we have this side skirt off, we can take out the rivet that holds that on here, and we can start taking out these fender liner bolts, and then there's a couple rivets that are behind here, and then this whole thing should come out, if I'm not mistaken. But that is really all we have to do. Um, it's easier said than done. There was a lot of rivets that we have to take out, but I am really excited to do this, and I think we'll be able to crank it out today. One of the things I'm really excited to see with the side scoop is if my cold air intake actually is visible through it. I have a cone filter that's right down in this spot behind that panel. And I think with the side scoop there, you might be able to see it through it, which might be kind of cool, but uh, we'll definitely have to see. So we'll wait for the battery to be fully charged and we'll be able to put this car on blocks and actually get it jacked up to see the side skirt. All right, fingers crossed. Okay, the car is up on the blocks now, so I can use my two jacks and I can try to get this thing jacked up. Of course, this, since the car is lowered, it is not an easy task to jack it up. So moral of the story, do not lower your car. All right, it is all jacked up now. As you can see, I had to use two jacks and kind of balance them around to actually be able to get this car up. Um, so this is back here on the cradle that is holding up this side and then with the back kind of lifted up a little bit I was able to slide this jack under the side right under there under the frame and I was able to just lift it up just like that And now this whole side is off the ground 
Okay, now we can get started on taking this apart. The very first thing we're gonna do is take off this side skirt. So that is just held on with a bunch of Phillips head screws. I'm gonna take that off and we'll be able to move on to the next step. Okay, here's my side skirt. Um, I've had a few people ask me about this and of where I got it. So basically this is just the three piece universal side skirt thing that you can get off of Amazon or eBay, really any of them. The only thing is you only use two out of the three pieces. Um, you just cut off the little end over here and it fits perfect right on the Fiero. It fits the length just right. Um, I just have some double-sided tape and it's just some screws holding it on and it's been great for me. So if you guys are interested in doing the side skirts, you can just look those up on Amazon or eBay, just like the three-piece universal ones. They're for any car, so they will be able to work on the Fiero just fine. Okay, now that the side skirt is off, we can go ahead and start to drill out all of these rivets that are underneath this ground effect. And then after that, we should be able to take that off. All right, rivets are all drilled out. Then also you have to take out these two fender liner bolts. They're just seven millimeter bolts and there's one over here and one over there that actually connects to the ground effect. Uh, the next things that we're gonna have to do, we have to take three rivets out that are on the top part of the ground effect. We have to take off this piece, that, and this, and there's rivets underneath there. And then we have to take off the fender liner and pop out some clips that connect the ground effect to this piece right here. Third one. So now those are off, you're exposed to three more rivets that you have to take out. Uh, to drill them out, or what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to be using a hammer and a chisel. Um, I actually took out a lot of rivets on a whole bunch of Firos with this, but we'll see if it works on this. see it kind of poked down through like that then you can just kind of twist it sometimes you might have to hit it in again and you can just kind of twist it around and the whole thing will come off there's the rivets that go up here got those all pounded out now we can go ahead and start taking off the fender liner to start getting the clips that are behind this piece right here And just like that, the fender liner is out as well. Usually these are connected and they are one piece with the other half of the fender liner that goes in the back half. But mine already broke, so it made it easier for me. You can see in here, here's my cone filter. And behind here, it's kind of hard to tell, but there are some clips that actually connect this piece to the ground effect. I'm gonna go and get some paint and I'm gonna paint this and clean it up while I'm in here, but I don't have any. So we're gonna run to the store real quick. Twelve seconds later. Paint acquired. Let's get back home. All right, well, there's that. There we go. All right, there's our ground effect. Alrighty, now that our ground effect is off, we can see that underneath here, there is, oh, wow. So usually there is a rivet that goes right here, and there's also one that goes right here, but this is not connected at all, so that is very interesting. I have never had this off before, but maybe this did have to come off before. That is very interesting. Anyways, now next step to get this thing off is we get to take off this trim piece right here. There is one seven millimeter bolt that goes into the fender liner through this, but if you already have the fender liner out like me, then you already have that out. And then you really just put a screwdriver in there or just really pop it out and it just comes right off. But then you can't pull it right off because there is a rivet right here. So you need to drill that guy out and then this thing will just come right off. And now after that's drilled out, you can take this piece off 
and it just reveals more rivets to take out. You got one right here, another one right here, and another plastic one right back here. And that should be the last thing that is holding this guy on. So we should be able to take it off after we get these last rivets out. There we go. All right, now that we have the car completely torn apart, we can move on over to these pieces. The only thing we need to do to prep this to go onto the car is put this ground effect onto this piece right here. Now that is super simple. On the back right here, the ground effect is only held on with these little pieces right here. You can pop these out really easily and they should come right off. So let's do that quick and we'll be able to put them onto this one. All right, and just like that, we have our ground effect piece. Now we are ready to put this onto the new scoop. So might as well get started. It's just as easy. All you have to do is pop it right on. Just like that. I just broke one. I have this all in now, so we should be able to go and put it onto the car. Okay, so I painted everything up under here, and now I think it's time to test fit the scoop. So let's throw it on and see how it looks. All right, well I think it's on and it's Position. All the holes seem to be lining up. Yeah, well, here it is. I am pretty happy with it. It is sitting in here nice and seems to be lining up just how the original one did. Um, this rivet hole down here lines up and all the other holes seem to be lining up too. So that is awesome. I'm probably going to leave it just like this and I'm going to go and start reassembling it. And for the clips that actually hold on this trim piece, um, the black piece that goes along here, those clips will most likely break. I left one on there accidentally and it got painted, so that just makes it easier for me. But this middle one especially, this guy right here, he will most likely break. You can see this one is just about to, um, the plastic is breaking right on this tab. So if you would like, you can go onto the Fiero store and they actually sell kits that have these clips brand new with plastic rivets, so it makes your job a lot easier. What I'm gonna do just to make my life a little easier is I took the clip and I just popped it right out into this trim piece. You can see that there are two little grooves in the trim piece where this clip sits, so you know you don't have to worry about the exact positioning of it. And now, you just get to pop it on in. And there you go. And the very last step is this guy right here. You remember that that was a rivet, but now there is this little piece that comes with the trim kit from the Fiero store, and you just take it and pop it on in. There you go. Now that it is on and we have this trim piece on, you can go down here and put in the rivets that would go right here. I'm not going to because it actually makes it a lot easier to take this piece back off if you don't. You don't have to take off the entire ground effect. You can really just take the whole thing right off because you don't have to take out those rivets that are down there. I'm just gonna leave it off. If you wanna put it back on, you can, but it really doesn't make a difference because it's gonna get clipped into the ground effect anyway, so it's not really gonna be moving at all. So now, I am going to put the ground effect back on, and then after that, I'm gonna put the fender liners in, and we should be all good. All right, let's put this ground effect back on. There we go. Now for this, instead of having the rivets to go underneath, we're gonna be using these nuts and bolts yet again. And I'm just gonna be having those with a washer and they work great. That's totally on my other side and it's been fine. I've had it on my formula, my friend's car, and I've had it on the other side of this for like a year and I've had absolutely no issues. So I'm gonna go throw these in real quick and this whole side will be done. All right, we got our nuts and bolts on there. So this guy is on. The only last thing we have to do is 
fill in these holes right here. There were rivets on there, but I do not have any that are that size to put back in. So I will show you what I have done on this. So you can see over here, I use these little plastic tab things. You really just go and push them in and they hold on just fine. And that's really all I've used for it. And it's been fine for me. And I've used that on multiple cars as well. Uh, you can get those anywhere at your local auto store. Um, I just don't have any right now. And they are all closed, of course. So I'm gonna have to go and get some another time, but that is what I would do on those. Now it's time to throw the fender liner back in. And that should wrap up the back half of the car. So it should be pretty easy. Just got to put in the seven millimeter bolts that I took out. So. And the car is 100% put back together. And I think this thing looks awesome, but we cannot get a good look unless we put this thing on the ground. So I'm gonna pick up my mess and we're gonna see this thing on the ground. And here it is. I absolutely love how this scoop looks on this car. You can't really see the cone filter in there. You can barely make out the tip in there. So I might get a large one of those so you can see it. But overall, I am super happy with how this turned out. Here's the other side. So see, this is just the same. I did that one a couple days ago. I am super happy with how these things turned out. I think they just look great. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am very happy with how these turned out and I think they make the car just look absolutely fantastic. I'm super impressed with the paint match and I'm super happy with how the paint actually turned out on these. When I got them, they were blue and they were kind of rough and the body shop that I took these to did a fantastic job at painting them. If you guys own a Fiero, I would definitely recommend looking around on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and even in the Facebook Fiero groups to see if you can find some of these side scoops because they are just a fantastic addition to any Fiero. So thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, everybody.